Hey, good afternoon. This is Pete from FigLife.com, and today I'm going to look at this fig that I've never tried before. It's called Black Crimean. So this is one of my two Black Crimean trees. Um, you can see here it's to me, it looks kind of like a Violet de Bordeaux type in terms of the growth pattern. Uh, it, it tends to kind of be uh, bushing, uh, growing out as a bush instead of growing up as a single, uh, single trunk tree. And also it's got these leaves that um, kind of look like that Violet de Bordeaux type of leaf. Uh, but I have not tr and then and then the final thing is the fruit. So it's a smallish kind of fruit kind of reminds me uh, the look of it of like petite negri or something like that. So You know all indications seem to point towards this being some type of uh, maybe violet de Bordeaux type tree I have a couple of these trees and they're both kind of growing uh, very similar all right, So this is my my second uh, black Crimean tree I have uh, probably, I don't know if I have two or three of these. I have at least two because this is the second one that I'm showing you. And this one is growing pretty well. Um, you can see similar sort of leaves on this one uh, as I showed in the, the other one. And um, fair amount of fruit on it. I'm starting to get some to ripen on this tree as well. So I should be getting plenty of figs from this tree. And I think my third, uh, I think, my, I think I have three of these. Let's see if I can find it real quick here. I think. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this is the, uh, so I do have three of these. Uh, this is my third black Crimean tree. And uh, you can see this one's growing really well. Um, so I do have three of these. And uh, producing lots of good fruit too. You can see some of it starting to ripen. It, or starting to ripen. It should be probably ripe within the next day or so probably. All right, this is the black Crimean fruit here. Um, you can see pretty dark skinned. Uh, this was the side not exposed to sun, so a little bit lighter, but I think this is probably the normal color of this fig right here. A little bit of uh, splitting, kind of a strange place for splitting, but a little bit of splitting up there and then down by the eye. I had, uh, we've had a lot of rain here, so I'm not surprised to see a little splitting. In fact, it's uh, just starting to rain right now. So, with that, uh, let me go ahead and cut this open. All right, so here's the inside of Black Crimean. So again, this appears to be a Violet de Bordeaux type. Um, this is kind of what I would expect to see from the inside of a Violet de Bordeaux type, um, but we'll know until I taste it. So let me go ahead and taste this. All right. So this is Black Crimean. It's my first time trying this fig. Yeah, good flavor. Um, it's it's uh, probably would have a little bit stronger flavor if it wasn't raining so much here. But a real nice, uh, real nice flavor. A little, a little bit more complex than like a hardy Chicago type. Uh, so this probably is like a Violet de Bordeaux type fig. It seems to have all the trademarks of that type of fig. So a good fig, um, you know, add it to the list of Violet de Bordeaux types, I guess. Well, it's my first time trying this fig, so <laughs> maybe that's a little premature, but um, you know, it does appear to be that sort of fig to me. So, Appears to be a good fig. I mean, that was the first one I've had off my tree. I had a good taste. Um, so that <clears throat> that uh, that means that what well, that uh, indicates that hopefully this will be a, a really good tree um, as the fruit continue to mature over the course of the season. So that was Black Crimean. If hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit subscribe and check out my website www.figlife.com.